When I got invited to this to give a talk here, they told me that it's going to be by a statue of Robert Peel. I was like, who the fuck is Robert Peel, right? So I looked it up. And this guy here, I don't know, how many of you know who this guy actually is? Yeah? Well, basically he was a prime minister because his daddy was really rich because he got rich off of colonies work. So he stole a lot of money from the colonies basically and he was a prime minister. So, fuck this guy. And by the way, if you, do, if you have a look at what the bill, one of the things that it actually proposes is that if you damage a statue like this, you could go to prison for 10 years! Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Kill the bill! Hell yeah. Yeah, nice one. So now I'm actually gonna give my speech. So first of all, allow me to express my solidarity to the workers in the UK and across the world on whose backs rest the entirety of our society and history and whose radical tradition in organizing against exploitation and oppression is one that we all cherish and feel inspired by because this, today is May Day. So when I saw the brutal repression of protesters in London and Bristol during the last few weeks, I was reminded of the violence that is being exercised on a daily basis against the Palestinian people in their own land by Israel. By Israel officially an apartheid regime if you haven't read the news. And it's heavily militarized police force. This is a country which has enjoyed unwavering support from the UK government, plural here, and a constant whitewashing coverage from the mainstream media which is not ashamed to label any dissenting voices against this injustice as anti-Semitic. It is also a country which is home to companies such as Elbit Systems or Raytheon, which export its lethal weapons, battle-tested on the besieged Gazan population, and cutting-edge surveillance technology first trialed on the Palestinians living in the West Bank and then exported to Western countries such as the UK to be then used for the policing of our own populations. Bad, bad. And they make, money, they make money out of that, by the way. Indeed, it is a proven fact of history, just like MSZ has shown, that the violence exercised by the imperial powers in their colonies and occupied lands is eventually imported back home, carefully tailored to police and surveil entire communities and to eventually exterminate them. This is true for anti-war activists, for Muslims, for black people, for queer people, for environmentalists, and most recently, as we have seen, for women. We saw this unfold in the 20th century and we are now seeing it unfold here in the UK, in the US, in France, just to name a few. But not only, is this form of state violence, whether it is perpetrated in Jerusalem, in London, in Ferguson, or in Paris, an expression of further curbing of our freedoms to protest and to organize, but more importantly, it is an attack on the intersectionality between our struggles that we have long been fighting for. And indeed, this protest, for me, is a manifestation of the success of this strategy. So give yourself a round of applause, everybody. This intersectionality is our only weapon against this militarized machinery that we are facing globally and which is already impacting our lives directly through the policies of austerity, through the policies of increased surveillance, and will eventually lead to the destruction of our ecosystems through climate change. I have been asked to speak about this bill from the perspective of a Palestinian Muslim living in the UK. And to tell you the truth, as someone whose expressions of identity and whose characteristics have been securitized and racialized in the UK, and whose speech and political action has been delegitimized and curbed on multiple occasions by Israel lobbyists, and whose friends 
and comrades at Palestine Action and Extinction Rebellion have, un have been unjustly imprisoned, brutalized and harassed by the police. I tell you today that we cannot rely on the political class or the institutions to allow us to act, to allow us to act against crimes that they are complicit in and which they themselves perpetrate. Which means that we have to take the matter into our own hands, which is what we're doing right now. So yeah, kill the bill. Kill the bill. So, allow me to say that while this bill is an attack on our freedoms, by a political class that cheers as protesters are brutally beaten, we all saw that, right? And smiles while shaking hands with war criminals such as Benjamin Netanyahu. We should not pretend that the UK was not guilty of state surveillance and violence against dissidents, black people, women, and Muslims on an international level before this. Let's not forget. So not only do we want to shut down this bill, but we want to reform our society. And as David Graeber, the late David Graeber said, when faced with structures of unjust authority, act as if you were already free. And that's what we're doing. And indeed, indeed, here in the UK, we have the privilege, the absolute privilege, to gather here and to organize and to radicalize against these ongoing injustices, taking direct action without the fear of being shot, like many Palestinians have been just a few days ago in Jerusalem. Now, now is the time, now is the time for all of us in the UK whose politics are based upon anti-militarism, anti-racism, feminism, and internationalism to take direct action against war criminals such as Elbit Systems and against this government which will lead us to a climate disaster while brutalizing and surveilling the population at home. Fuck that. And I know, I know that we all already care for each other and that we are not indifferent to the struggles that we face and that none of us stands alone, I know that. But as a Palestinian Muslim and a radical, yeah, I didn't know what you said, but yeah, I trust you. So as a Palestinian Muslim and a radical, I call, I call on all of you here today to transform your care and compassion into radical direct action by joining Sisters Uncut, by joining XR, and most importantly for me as a Palestinian, by joining Palestine Action. And if you haven't heard of them, Google them. And, and by using our privilege and your privilege to support these movements which will bring about real change in our society within our lifetime and really fucking soon shut down this bill and shut down Elbit. So, can I have everyone shut Elbit down? Shut Elbit down. Shut Elbit down. Shut Elbit down. down. And then kill the bill. Kill the bill. Kill the bill. Hell yeah. And last one. When I say free, free, you know what you're going to say, right? Free, free. <laughs>